Six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Look at it's it's going, it's going. Hello, whale fans. We have a very special treat today. Are we going under the sea? We're going the opposite of under the sea. We're going up to the stars. To the stars, my friend. Nice. We're going to space. I've always wanted to go to space. And we're going with all of our Indian friends. Pratesh is coming? Pratesh is going to be there. Shruti? Mm-hmm. Akash? Akash, of course. All right, it's going to be a party. Yeah, Mohan? Mohan? Mohit? Sai? They just had a new launch. Chandrayaan 2. They're going Excellent. to the moon this time. The moon? The moon. Is this the same Chandrayaan that attempted last week to go to space, but they had to... They had to twist the rotator cuff. Mm-hmm. Same one. I'm glad they got it. I'm glad they figured it out. Let's watch Chandrayaan 2 go to space. Woo! Can we all watch it together? Let's do it together. You and us and Stanley. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Well, India is set to head to the moon today. These live pictures show the rocket that carries the Chandrayaan it's a lunar lander. It's due to blast off in a few minutes' time at 2.43 p.m. local time. To be exact, We're getting these live images right now from the location so there. That is, is if everything goes according to plan. This is India's second attempt to launch the lunar probe after a technical glitch caused the mission to be aborted just one hour before launch last week. One week delay is not so bad. Chandrayaan 2 is India's most challenging mission so far. A highly complex undertaking. The spacecraft should reach its destination in the second week of August, when it enters an elliptical orbit of the Moon. Then, it will approach the lunar surface. When the landing robot Vikram separates from the craft, Ooh. the most Vikram. exciting Vikram. phase begins. India's first soft landing on the moon. We have thrown stuff at the moon before. The selected landing site is about 600 kilometers from the lunar south pole. South pole. A region of craters on the dark side of the moon. Dark side of the moon. The blue markings here show frozen ice in craters, as spotted by satellites. Given the high plateau, the landing robot should touch down gently amid ancient rocks. I'm worried the robot's gonna get a little cold. Hopefully, they have a sweater for the rover. Mm hmm. Scarf. Blanket. That'd be so cute. After landing, Vikram will open its doors and release India's first lunar rover onto the surface. Small as a briefcase, it can travel up to 500 meters. Cool. With its onboard instruments, the rover will measure water bearing minerals in the lunar rock, as well as the concentration of elements such as aluminum, silicon, and titanium. Meanwhile, the landing robot will record moon quakes and explore so-called lunar plasma, a thin layer of electrically charged particles above the surface. Vikram and the rover will be able to collect data for a few Earth days. Then it will go dark for 14 days. Hibernation. That's when the temperature drops to 160 degrees below zero Celsius. That's cold. The orbiter will spend a year gathering data about the moon. Data. The objective is to fill in the gaps from India's previous mission. It has eight measuring instruments on board. Their function is to investigate the moon's thin atmosphere and show which minerals and chemical Wait. elements make up its surface. Wow. Really For the first time, the a special is. radar will be mm -hmm. used to determine the location and quantity of frozen water. India's mission it's the first to bring this type of instrument to the moon. Damn, son. As we wait for a blast off, let's go to DW Sonia Falnikar, live following the story for us. Delhi, Sonia, how confident are Indian scientists in today's launch? There's a very tight launch window that they have to meet. Very confident. That's right, Brian. I mean, scientists today have a window um, of literally one minute uh, to carry out um, uh, this launch. That's a really a tight window. So they have very little minute. flexibility one in terms of man. time. Uh, so the pressure is really on to 
get this right uh, this time, there can be no room for delay. So I think there are a lot of um, you know tense and anxious moments. Hard to get it done in one right minute with that, that level of pressure. Yes, yeah. that's really hard to okay. do. Okay, uh, I can do it. Tweeted earlier we have India's best scientists. Is ready to take good hands, a million I think. dreams to the moon. What does this launch mean billion for dreams. India's billion. space program? Well, so this is really great India's most yeah, complex let's space it. Uh, mission to date. I would trust that guy in my life. Will attempt a soft landing on the kind of yet unexplored, uncharted South Pole region of the moon. This has never been done before. It, if successful, India will really become only the fourth country in the world to carry this off after Russia and China. And of course, if this is successful, it will really propel India into a rarefied company of you know spacefaring nations like the US uh, and Russia. And of course, it will be a huge technological achievement for India's space agency. 35 seconds, this thing's blasting off, man. For India's growing space ambitions. Okay, we're getting live images. We just want to look at them for a second, Sonia. We just passed. Is Feel that excitement in the air? Feel we're it? getting the countdown uh, now for four, the three, launch of 22. the Chandrayaan. 21. To lunar probe. Um, we're going to follow uh, the countdown. This is so exciting. It means so yeah, much. Not only, the, of course, everyone will be looking at their yeah. live at Mission Control. 10, uh, but 9, for the entire nation, we'll be talking about that. 6, in a bit. Six 5, 5, 4, 4, 4 3, 3, 3, 2, 2 1, 1. Blast off! <laughs> Look at it's It's going. It's going. <laughs> That's beautiful. Wow, Shan Ryan too. Okay, you go, so you go. That thing's going to play us. In the background. Oh, um, Shan Ryan too uh, has gone missing. This is first part to that cloud. Um, till we know that everything's okay. Uh, Sonia, we're, we're, we're getting some cloud cover we can't see. Exactly. Do you think it's the biggest day of we'll that guy's out. life? Sonia, thanks I hope so. so. Uh, for being with us, for getting these live images from Mission Control like, there. We'll find yeah, out more about this launch in just a bit. He's I'm only Ryan making Thomas. history. Thanks so much for being here. There's more on our website, DW.com, as well. Wow. DW. Dutchland Wales. AKA DW. Tremendous news organization. Wow, Shan Ryan 2 has been sent out of our atmosphere. From places. From places. We ain't never been before. The South Pole of the Moon. Ah, that's cool. The dark side of the moon, man. There's whole albums about that. Right. From the 70s. And when, uh, when Vikram releases the little rover onto the South Pole of the Moon, we'll finally learn, are there moon monsters? Are moon monsters real? Mm-hmm. The abominable snowman. The abominable moon man. The abominable snowman yes. from the moon. And what's the rover's name? That's what I was wondering. Like the rover, in a, in a lot of ways, is the superstar of this whole operation. Yes, you need Vikram to deliver the mm -hmm. rover. Yes, you need the rocket to get you there. But at the end of the day, who's the star of the show? It's the little rover that could. <laughs> yes. Right. It's the cutest little component. Yeah. You know, you got this big rocket. Then you got the satellite looking thing, got Vikram, but then the rover. Vikram is like rover's, the rover's home. Mm -hmm. It's where he li or it's like his vehicle. Exactly. Now that's like me having, naming my car, but me not having a name. Like, oh, um, hey Rudy, uh, I'll ride you later. I have no name. <laughs> right. Right. It's one of, it's kind of like that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to. Poke fun at Vikram or anything like that because I have mad respect for Vikram. Mad respect for Vikram. It's very impressive. I what just think doing. the rover. It's good for branding too if the rover has a name. You Something know? cute. Yeah, there could be t shirts, mugs. Sanjay? Would that be? Ooh. And little kids could be playing with all this stuff, right? Yeah. Sanjay? Sanjay? Sanjay. Could work? The little rover that could. Sanjay. Let's think of something. Let's figure this out. Do you have any suggestions for the rover's name? What's an appropriate name that's catchy, that's fun, that's cute, that the kids can say? Name that rover. Something meaningful. I mean, like they said, a billion dreams. A billion dreams. 
1.4 billion dreams it's more like you know that's what i was thinking that's a lot of people that are forgetting there yeah and then there's people that don't remember their dreams so even though they are dreaming about it's like, oh i forget how to dream to the go to rover the moon. yeah they don't remember the dream so they don't realize it. so it's not counted this was fun this is the first time we've covered like a news event yeah we've never done this before should we be news anchors do we deserve a desk have we earned ourselves a desk i think we might have and reacting to the mission mangle trailers I think kind of got us like in a space mood. It prepared us. So when we heard like India is sending a rocket to the moon, sending a rover to explore the moon, we're like, this is very exciting, man. Whale well, boys like, gotta be there. This is like the spiritual successor to Mission Mangle. Yeah, one day there'll be a movie about this. For sure. And then we're, yeah, we're there. I hope, now I know we don't have a lot of acting experience. I know we're not Indian, but I hope when they do make the major motion picture about this mission, that we get at least small roles. Maybe we could play the newscasters on DW. Or... That'd be cool. We could portray scientists, like not the main scientists, but like someone in the background that's typing. We could be... We could pull that off. I think our countdown was definitely much better than DW's. Yes. So I think we could do a better job there. DW was a little low energy with the countdown. I mean, this is a historical moment. Yeah. And they're just like 10, 9. Yep. It's and he constant. wasn't that good at counting. I don't know. I feel like he was off. He's, he was like a little, a little too early to the punch. He's good. At, he has some skills, you know. He has a good speaking voice, and he's very knowledgeable. But when it comes to counting yeah. and creating an exciting environment, he's not the best. Not 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 the best counter you ever had. Yeah. And what? then uh, we might also be responsible for getting this rover a name. Yes. This little rover. Let's give this rover a name. Hashtag give the rover a name. <laughs> <laughs> Suggest a name for the rover. And whatever, whichever name gets the most thumbs up, perhaps will become the official name or the unofficial name. We'll submit it to the Indian Space Research Organization. Absolutely. Yeah. We will we will make a video and we'll directly direct it to them. It will be a direct directive. <laughs> yes. And they'll have to listen because we have a lot of subscribers now. Yeah. Yeah. We just hit 1,400. That's very exciting. Mm -hmm. By the time you watch this, maybe we have 1,600 or 1,800 or 2,500. Or perhaps we lost all our subscribers. We're not fortune tellers. Yeah. We can't predict the future. Have we blown up like Chandran kind of blew up in, in a very non-destructive way? Yes. Ideally. A very planned mm -hmm. explosion. Mm -hmm. Well, till next time, Whale fans. We'll see you at the next space mission. And remember to subscribe to us because we appreciate each and every one of you. And it's the best way to keep up with us. To the moon and back!